Well, the Southern Rail Commission has a new voice, one that hopes it can help push forward the proposed I-20 rail corridor service, which includes Shreveport. NBC 6's Shirley Busico explains. And Perkins says he will move very aggressively on the commission to push forward the long-range I-20 corridor project as quickly as possible. People want to be able to jump on a train and get to DFW or jump on a train and get to Jackson, Mississippi or Birmingham, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia. Former Harrison County Judge Richard Anderson, who is the chairman of the I-20 corridor council, says establishing an Amtrak passenger line between Fort Worth and Atlanta, Georgia is an ongoing process, something that's been in the works for the last 10 years. The present administration, and apparently there's some bipartisan support, Democrat and Republican, uh, for an infrastructure bill, which would include about $66 billion uh, for Amtrak. Anderson says the goal is to have the railroads with a speed of 90 to 115 miles per hour. But that's not all of the benefits. You can move more people from an environmental standpoint, you know, with less impact by rail, number one. Uh, number two, it, it's more accommodative in, in, in the sense that, you know, people can work on their Wi-Fi or they, you know, they don't have to drive. They can do what they want to do while they're traveling. Uh, economic development, it's, it's a positive impact for uh, tourism and the like of that, which will help, you know, Shreveport, Bossier, Marshall, Longview, uh, all, all the communities up and down the line. This puts us one step closer to getting passenger rail here, and I suspect over the next couple of years we'll see that and be able to jump on our first trains heading out of Shreveport. Shirley Busico, NBC6 News. All right, Shirley, thank you very much.